So today we'll be discussing how we categorize water uh, when we arrive to your home. Uh, we use the Hygienia uh, Ensure Touch uh, ATP meter and what we'll be doing is utilizing the swab that is there on the surface to test, test the water that will come in contact with the floor surface inside the testing square that we have on the floor there. So you can see we've also labeled the area we will be testing. This is the office at our warehouse here at Royal. The date of the test, the ATP number is just the first swab that we will be doing on the site. And then the meter of the, uh, the meter number of the select meter that we'll be using to quantify the results. So obviously in a normal setting, we come to uh, your home, the water is already in contact with the surface. So I'm, just for this uh, experiment, I'll be putting some water onto the surface. So it comes in contact with whatever bacteria is on that surface there. We'll be using the AquaSnap Total Swab, which has a collecting tip on the end. We wanna get that collecting tip all into the water so it's picking up that water. And so it'll allow us to determine the category of that water inside this square. The collecting tip then goes into, back into the tube where we break the reagent at the top here, getting that reagent all down into the testing strip and shake it a little bit so it all gets mixed up inside there. Have a previous sample in there. This sample goes into our hygiene and then we run the test. The test you can see takes 10 seconds where it will be able to give us our category on the water. Four, four, eight RLUs, which in the scale of water categorization, this will fall into the category two realm of water. Anything below 10 RLUs would be considered category one, 10 to 1,000 is considered category two. Anything over 1,000 would be considered category three. So what I do is I remove that swab from the hygiene. I place it to show that that is the swab that we did for the testing. And then I put my result onto the tape. At this point, I can take photos of this for documentation purposes, and this can all then be supplied to the insurance company.